name is Bim. Yes, Bim, that's my name. And thank you very much for inviting me to be part of this Back to the Wild Deep Fry online program. Today, we're going to make uh, drinking straw oboes and lollipop stick kazoos, and you can make your own band or maybe your own theme tune. Let's have a look. Kazoo, you will need two lollipop sticks, one elastic band, one big elastic band, two teeny weeny little elastic bands, and a couple of bits of just scrap paper. Yeah, just like that big ish. First thing you've got to do, you've got to stretch your elastic band, the big elastic band, over the length of one of your lollipop sticks. It's a bit tricky, but a bit of persistence, you'll get there. So it runs flat and smooth along from one end to the other. The very next thing you're going to do, you can leave that there while you grab your piece of paper. And at the very end of it, about this far up, you're going to fold it over. Then what you do is fold it over again. The very next very important step is you fold it over again and 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 again until you end up with something that is just it's nice and flat and it's about yay wide and that's going to slide in between the elastic band and the lollipop stick on one side and you're going to push it up towards one end, not right the way to the end. Just leave a little bit of a gap. And then the very next important thing is grab yourself another piece of paper. And with this piece of paper at the other end, we're going to fold a little bit over. The very next thing is fold it over again. Yeah, you know what's coming. We've got it again and again and again and again. In fact, it doesn't matter if you do it like this. Just so long as it is nice and flat and it is going to fit underneath there. On the same side. Mm. Eee, tricky, tricky, tricky. Keep a bit jiggling and wiggling. There we go. Same side, but at the opposite end. So, so not the other side. Hmm. The same side as the first piece. Should be easier because there's a gap there. And up towards one end. Hey, wow. Oh, nearly, nearly there. If, um, that's the thing. If you want to, like, decorate your lollipop sticks, uh, don't. Uh, don't, don't just because it's going to end up all over your lips. Whatever you put on here is going in your mouth. And that's not always good. So, but that's going to go on top. So you've got, uh... Elastic band, stick, paper, elastic band, stick. That's that's how the sandwich goes. Mm. And then right at the end, and in my experience, girls with long hair are always much better at doing this because you've done it so many times before. The rest of us struggle. Elastic band, little elastic band, you've got to fold it around. And these ones, once would do, but you could probably do it twice it's going to break. No. And at the other end, exactly the same. Here's the trick. With one finger, hold that on there. With the other hand, you can twist it round. And there you have a lollipop stick kazoo. So you made your lollipop stick kazoo. And now it's the art of playing it. It's pretty tricksy. You've got to put it in your mouth and blow. <laughs> and if you just slightly squeeze it, it makes a different note. <laughs> and if you're really skilled and if you squeeze it outside the paper, it makes it go wider, it makes a lower note. <laughs> and if you can change and you can do... Um... <laughs> To make a drinking straw oboe, you will need a drinking straw. These all have um, little elbows in, which you don't have to have, but um, I don't know. I just have these ones. The medium, 
or wide, but very narrow ones are really tough. If you, I haven't got any very narrow ones because they don't work very well. What you need to do at one very end is first of all flatten it, just squidge it down a bit so that it is flat, so that you can, with your cutting scissors, you can cut of kind of of uh, an upside down V shape or yeah a V shape, but it's not really a V. It's more like an arrow. So on one side, turn it over, you saw what I did, do the other side. That then gives you a reed. <laughs> and if you just get, if these are your lips and you squeeze it just the right amount and blow it really, really hard, you might get a note out of it, like this. <laughs> and different lengths will give you different Get a V. Mm, I don't know how long that needs to be. I, I kind of always do mine the same shape. It's a bit lopsided. I don't think that matters. But having it flat that way, so it's flat that way. That's that's really cool. Um, because with this one, we're going to at the bottom here, going to make it flat the other way. Does that make sense? The, the reed bit is flat this way, and we're going to make some finger holes, and they're flat this way. Uh, and what we do is we're going to cut not all the way through the straw, just a half the way across on a diagonal like that, and then a half the way across on a diagonal like that. If you're very good, they will meet up and if oh, and pop out. There you go. And you then, when you open it, there's a little hole there. Yeah, I'm going to do that a couple more times. Uh, it might happen that when you cut it, it doesn't pop out like I did that time. In which case, you're just going to have to get tough and pull it out. Uh, the spacing of these is possibly very important, but it's also very approximate. You know, uh, it's, it's, it's an, it is a science, but it's also an art, just so you can get your fingers on those, because then, here we go, you now have a drinking straw oboe that can play. of your drinking straw oboe can be a bit tricky when you're a beginner if these but imagine these are your lips and that's what I do I curl my lips up uh, uh, and use them to push the straw together but not so much that it's sealed tight because then no air will come through that's no good but if you don't do anything it just sounds like a snake so just a little bit of, of just just try, just try squeezing a bit more, squeezing a bit less. Something might run out of the end. So um, remember, hygiene is paramount. And just try. And if it doesn't work, try a little bit. <coughs> Once you've got it, you've got it. You got an old bottle, clean it out. Um, I've, I like cutting up some sticks for this, bits of old stick, yeah, they're really good. Get those cut up, get those in there, oh, yeah, get those in there, it's, it's really quite easy. Uh, sticks in the bottle, yeah, you've done this before, you know what that this makes. I've got a nice bit of paper here that I'm going to decorate with um, some stuff like this, uh, a bit of colour, blah, 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 blah. let's do a bit of colour on this, 
Uh, that is going to basically guess what it's going to stick on here. There's actually a, there's a bit of glue on here left over from where I took the label off. Oh, that's cheating. That's really cheating. Uh, but uh, you might need to do. It. You can do a better job than this than me, right? Shaky, 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 shake, and stop. You made your instruments. We've got a shaker, a kazoo, an oboe. Uh, so what we want from you, we need some sort of song, we need a theme tune, we need a musical adventure, a song all about going back to the wild. We're going back to the wild! Yay!